Hi. Hi. I'm Kathleen. I'm Nancy. And we are On, on the, the needles. needles. Welcome to episode four. four. Can you Gosh. believe it? <sighs> Time flies when you're having fun. Does that mean we're not uh, podcast virgins anymore? Um, I still feel like one. Do you? <laughs> yes. Although it's exciting. Yeah. I look is. forward to it. I do too. And I love, oh gosh, I love hearing your comments and feedback and even criticisms and yes. just uh, in these times of COVID, obviously, we're wearing our masks because we don't live together. But in these times of COVID, it's so important to keep up our community. And Nancy and I belong to the same knit group and we meet every week on um, Zoom for our knit night. And then there's a couple of other groups that we meet with together and separately and it's just such an important thing and I feel like this um, podcast is connecting us in a different way that's um, really exciting and fun so thank you everyone for your thumbs up and likes and comments and uh, we I, we just want you to know that we appreciate each and every one yeah we're just a couple gals from little old Spokane Washington yeah. and uh, who'd have thunk who'd have thunk yeah. So, great. So, how was your week? Um, it was good. Uh, my mm -hmm. wife, Mimi, and I, her mom just moved to Boise. And so she was having a little bit of loneliness. So, and that's so common these days. So we decided to mask up and glove up and jump in the car with our little dog and head on down there. And it's about a seven hour drive. So we did get, each, she's a knitter too. So we got a lot of knitting done. And um, as you'll see, when I start sharing some projects, I totally biffed on my knitting packing. And I had taken a bunch of projects out of my bag and I had them on the coffee table and my bag was next to it. And I think I, um, I know I got confused about what was what and I shoved all of the things I didn't want to take into my bag. And so I had all of these projects, no needles. <laughs> not no extra yarn no so I had one pair of socks and then you'll see what I ended up working on so anyway it was a lovely visit it was hot it's been so hot here I know mm. everyone is kind of suffering from that and and our thoughts and prayers are with the people suffering from storm damage it's oh. just so awful I can't imagine I can't imagine being in a pandemic and losing or being unable to live in your home right yeah, now. Yeah, right. And, uh, you know. and then California is going to have rolling power outages. And, and the fires. We're starting yeah. to get fires up here. It's that time of the year. But. I thought we were going to miss it this year. Uh. I, You know, we're in a valley and we get smoke coming. Like last year we got the horrible Montana fire smoke. We've had BC smoke. And so anywhere around us, it just kind of comes in. And it just sits here. Mm-hmm. Uh. It? So it's bad. It's but at least we're both, you know, we're healthy. Outside of Spokane, yes. there was a an evacuation order, and you know, don't you don't you think like, oh my gosh, what would I take? You know, it's like with those games you used to play. If your house was on fire, mm -hmm. what? And I just can't imagine. You know, I guess that's why we have insurance. I guess, but yeah, I mean, I guess photo albums is what I always think because photos that's in, yeah, not replaceable. Yeah. But anyway, hmm. so well, okay, so what that's kind of How a downer. Yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, um, okay, let's let's bring some joy. Yeah, I know. We're just. This, yeah. I just wanted to say that we're thinking about. We hold yeah, those people in our hearts. So it's, it's tragic. But, yeah. Um, so anyway, yes. how about you? How was your week? I had a great week. Um, Good. I did Vogue knitting live. virtual live. Yes. This weekend, which was phenomenal. Um, I watched from Boise. I watched the first one, and it looked great. Your setup was amazing. <laughs> it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, they've already reached out to me and want me to do another one in September. Oh, good. I, I hope by then I get a mask that fits. I don't know. What's the I just deal need there? to staple it. Or you've got to put a wire yes. in there. So anyway, sorry. You know, don't touch your mask. Don't touch your face. <laughs> don't do but, what we do. Yeah. So anyway, Vogue was um, amazing. Um, Thank you to everyone that came and watched. I was a little concerned that I wouldn't be able to talk for a full hour to the computer mm. about my yarn, but um, I did. And I had some great uh, feedback from everybody and great questions. So um, I'm still 
shipping out orders. Oh, I think good. he everybody. I'm so glad. Yeah, so that was fun. Um, otherwise, gosh, I it's That's been a lot. Yeah. It's been pretty quiet. Yeah, it's been like Kathleen said. It's 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 hot. I have 24 bags of bark sitting on my back walkway that needs to be spread, but um, it's gonna just sit there for another couple weeks. Um, yeah, I yeah. Mean, it's supposed to get down into the 80s, and I'm like, phew, you know, and usually <laughs> that's hot for us. Yeah, but I love it. We don't have to shovel it. Yes. We get um, a fair amount of snow, and um, I think I'm gonna change masks. I okay. have another one here, so okay. um, hold your breath. Okay, I'm gonna turn away. Okay. Just try this one. Oh, it's so great for the hair. Okay, and I don't edit very much. No, so, so this you is, get to see. You get to see how, you know, we, to well, put the and mask it's a, on. Well, and it's a good thing if your mask isn't working. Yes. Try a different one. So, um, yeah, so I it's too hot to do yard work, um, but I'm anxious to get out there, and uh, everything is kind of suffering. But, yeah. like you say, it's better than snow. Right. And we tend to get um, a lot sometimes it's very it's, it's funny here we can yeah we can get a whole bunch and we can have a mild winter with you know where you really don't have to shovel but right. you're not here for the weather <laughs> you're here for, for the, the making yeah. yes so kathleen what have you finished okay so i fin. so this is what i okay i'm gonna start with this guy <laughs> all right you guys Never not gnoming. Hashtag never not gnoming. This is Mimi has done the imagined landscapes, and that's Sarah Shira. And she's done all of the mystery gnome alongs. And she had the hat done, just the knitting. And then she had what we've been calling gnome parts, which are just like leftover bits of fingering yarn. So that's pretty much what I worked on. And I have to admit, I was not a fan of the gnome because I tend to be, I don't know what I tend to be. I want to say elitist, but I don't think that's really right. But I tend to want to spend my time knitting garments and that kind of thing and not like doing these um, sort of things and like yarn bombing and that kind of stuff. But I had so much fun, you guys. I can't even tell you. I like I started out on this guy and I started out you pick up stitches on the hat under the hat and knit down the body and then keep on going and then in the bottom you stuff it. And I didn't I think I might have overstuffed it. And I guess I didn't realize you weren't supposed to stuff these. And they do look weird. I mean, it's like I a jester. Do you think it's cute? Well, isn't that supposed to be a jester hat? It's supposed to be a jester hat, but they're not. They're if you look on the on Ravelry mm -hmm. on it, they're they're not supposed to be stuffed. But I think they're I cute. Think and it's I put cute. pipe cleaners in yeah. there. The only thing I have left to do are these little tassels, tassels that hang off. And I tell you guys, this Sarah Shira is awesome. She does um, tons of video support for all of her gnome alongs. And so I looked at a couple different videos while I was doing this just to make sure I was doing the right thing. And she liked these little pockets. I mean, how cute is that? And his little hands go in his pockets. Oh, I don't know what he keeps All in the there, but little gnome secrets. Pin. Yeah. <laughs> and so she she demonstrated exactly how she did this and where, you know, and then, I, I don't know. And so Mimi's doing one of the gnome along, um, the mystery gnome alongs right now. And that, it is so adorable. <laughs> So how, how she does it is she puts out the clues, and then when it's all over, she puts out a complete pattern. And uh, so this one, I'm not spoiling it, because this was a couple mystery gnome alongs ago. So anyway, that happened. And there's about, what, three or four in our uh, Tuesday knit group yeah. that are doing gnomes. Right. So it's, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a thing. Okay, and so then, this is the other thing I had with me. Remember these knee socks so they're done and I this is um Tannis Knits trusty toe up socks and the yarn is unique um by earth yarns and so they give you the two balls that so you can make obviously an exactly matching striping sock so I was super excited about that and I wanted to use my whole kit so a lot of people are doing them you know, regular sock length. But I decided to go ahead and do the knee socks. So I added, you can kind of see right here, I added some increases 
right here to, to get over the calf. And then I mentioned before, this kind of ugly looking bind off is just, it's super stretchy. So, and it's the um, elastic bind off. It's called, it's a version of the lace bind off. And so I'm super happy with them, which I'm, I'm cracking up though. Cause I'm like, when am I ever going to wear those? But oh, but with boots. You know, I know I that's just, what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to yeah. have to get some boots. Cause I'm, I just think they're so cute. So that. So and cute. then my other thing is really fun. It is this 21 color slouch hat. And this is from um, Blue Sky Fibers. And it's knit with every single color of their wool stock, which is a worsted weight yarn. And wool stock is one of our favorites. It is one of the um, go-to sweater yarns at our LYS, Knit Knit the Studio in um, Spokane. And I have not knitted a sweater yet out of it, but Mimi has. And have you I, it? I've got yeah. one. I, it's what I'm working on now. Oh, cool. It's my sweater. Okay. I have the, the wool stock so you'll be able to see it and as you can see the color choices are amazing and they've come out with new colors this kit was put together um, with their kind of inaugural yarn release with all the colors so it is i did this thing on this i knit two of these and the second one i didn't do this on but i wove in the colors like when you're trapping colors and color work and it elongates the stitches as you can see but it did make for fewer ends to weave in because this is a labor of love. Mm -hmm. Look at all those ends. Um, but I did, I wove in all the ends at a knitting retreat. So we were, you know, distract. I was distracted while we were doing it. And it comes in a kit like this and they are still available. I checked the website this morning. And so cute packaging. And then this is obviously the mitten kit and I haven't done this yet. I think I got, uh, over so you get over a full ended. skein too huh? yeah so because the mitten has more of the mm -hmm. main color so they give you this full skein and then little bitty mm -hmm. skeins of every single color so the one i really fell in love with oh maybe that is that it it's this deep deep blue and i just love it mm -hmm. so but in anyway they're really fun so that is a neat thing to do and that's it for my FOs. I'm, you know, it's so freaking hot. I'm... I know. And, and honesty, on, honesty, honestly. <laughs> is, is always best. Yeah, honesty is always best. We uh, just podcast a little over a week ago because we had to repeat it, um, our last one, because there was no sound. And I'm sorry, but you guys probably can't read our lips right now right. because they're covered. Mm. Um, so we did we podcast about three days four days later so mm -hmm. we were able to finish stuff in that meantime right but um so i don't have a lot finished i was so consumed with vogue i have very little mind space left so i did socks socks are pretty mindless um this was a hoe last time and now it's a it's a faux. So faux. Cute. So this so hoe is, is what? Half, half, half object. object. Yeah. Okay. So this is um, Felici, uh, Knit Picks Felici. This is in the test pattern colorway. And it's I just do my um, go-to socks, just a standard vanilla. I do uh, like a figure eight cast on, magic loop on the toe. I increase up to 64 stitches, go to my nine inch circular. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do the fish lips kiss heel, and then um, kind of a shorter leg on these. I don't, I don't like my legs, uh, sock legs, too long. I'd like to have longer legs <laughs> than I do, but <laughs> my uh, sock legs, I don't like them too long. So, so um, cute. Yeah, I love these colors. Isn't that fun? I, I really like Felici. I as yeah. I you saw last time or two times ago, I got that other new shipment. So that is a test pattern. The other pair of finished socks oh. that I have. And you've really been socking it. Sock it to me. I'll put these on. So this is another pair of Felici, the knit picks. And this one is called Punky. Uh, Cute. So it's it's a little bit more spring, spring, but 
yeah so there again just my my basic standard go-to sock I do knit mine on a size one uh, I'm not sure what that is in millimeters I, I probably should have learned that but um, a US one and um, yeah so two pairs of socks done yay nice I I have a drawer well I have several drawers um, and I have a sock drawer. I have two sock drawers, one for me and one for gift socks because you never know when you're going to need a gift. Right. And um, so I, do, I just great. put socks, socks in. And hand knit socks. What a loving gift. Hand knit socks. Oh, and there's an end. So um, the other thing I finished was the Counting Rainbows Cowl by Matt Akers. Um, and I think we talked about this last time of Makers Knitting. And he had done my, or he had done one out of my glamorous base in the stormy weather, which is a gray for this. And then he used my, uh, the Pride Mini rainbow set for the brioche part. And I just did a fading, uh, kind of a burgundy. Yeah, that so worked it just out. You can goes, really see it on the back. Yeah. So it, what's nice about brioche is, you know, it is reversible. Um, Although I think I would wear it the other way. It, because of the fact that it is a cowl, you knit it flat, and then you have to seam it up. So it's very similar construction uh, to the shift. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's so cute. And okay. I love it. Yeah. So that was my other finished um, garment. And I do have kits for these in the shop. Um, I have them both with the, um, the mini rainbow set. This is... The one he Matt had done with my rainbows. Sorry, the you know we're still I guess podcast virgins. We haven't got our light yeah. fixtures or our lighting figured out. Um, it's a bright day outside, but it's almost too dark with the lights off. So anyway, this was done on my uh, glamorous base. The the light pink is blush, and then for the fading uh, minis, I actually used a sport weight. I had done up a burgundy uh, mini fade set in the sport weight. And because my glamour space is such a plump fingering, you really can't tell, you know, that there's any difference. I cord, I cord binding, edging all the way around. Um, I, I cord I think it's bind really off. Pretty. Yeah, it's, it's fun. I, I like to wear um, stuff around my neck, and it's really nice to have something where you're not messing with the ends all mm -hmm. the time. So these are kind of easy to throw on and throw off. Oh, and then um, what I'm wearing. This is the Scotlander by Casa Pinka, and mm, it's just so very simple cardigan uh, with a, a little um, cable detail up the front. And on just, the arms. And on the arms. arms. Yeah. Little uh, cable detail there. And so, um, yeah, the Scotlander by Casa Pinka. And I used the Ella Ray Cozy Soft, um, which is a 75 acrylic, 25 merino, or wool. It's a, a wool. And I did it in the, uh, just in the navy colorway. That's, that so, feels nice. Yeah, it's it's a nice one. Yeah. You know, it's, so Cute. that's that's all I got done for. All right, it's going to be a short episode. That's, I think that's all right. That's okay. I have I have favorites to talk about. So. Oh, okay. So what are you working? Okay, on? so this is going to look like nothing because it's mm. a big loose, and I think it's going to be kind of enormous. But it is just a big piece of knitting right now. Mm. But what it's going to be is this. It's um, gonna. I'm doing the cardigan one. You can sew up the front and do like a pullover. But it's called the modern wrapper, and this is um, the fine version. There's a modern wrapper, I think, also that is um, worsted, maybe. And this is from Church Mouse, and I love their patterns. They have all kinds of things. Like here is, they have a whole sidebar on swatching. They have ton they have info on um, customizing the sleeve length. So each pattern is kind of like a this is the sleeve. All of this information about customizing the sleeves, and so all of their patterns, or many of their patterns, have uh, tutorials in them, which I love. And so this is the um, 
the finishing of it. It's a garter stitch band and then reverse stockinette on the um, arms and the hem. And so I am knitting it out of this yarn that I have had forever. And this is Philacrossa, um, is that, what's it called? Filatura de Crossa Superior. And this is a luxury yarn that I bought many years ago. It's 70% cashmere, 25% silk, and 5% merino. And it is just, I mean, it's, don't you want to sleep on it that? It feels like butter for uh, Yeah, it is just, yeah. and when I start, I've been working on this for a long time, and it was still kind of uh. cool when I started it. And so I had this on my lap, and I'm just like, maybe I should uh. just make this a blanket. This is, you guys, you can't even imagine. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can kind of see the halo on it, but oh yeah, my gosh, it is, it is really just special. like, oh. So this yarn I do think is discontinued, but you can still get it secondhand. Um, and I'm sorry to tease you with that, but it, mm. if you can get a hold of it, even one skein, it's got really good yardage. It's like, how many yards is this? 328 yards so you could make yourself a hat or a little cowl or mm -hmm. something that you would just absolutely love so that's nice. that i know you're not going to want to put that down yeah i'm just thinking i should let her know my birthday's yeah, coming yeah yeah no you can borrow it <laughs> and then i'm still working on the um uh oh there we go the um Turkish bed socks, and this is another church mouse pattern. I didn't really realize I was doing all the church mouse things. And I um, am this far on the other one, so I should have a finished pair pretty quick. And I haven't kitchenered the toes because I hate doing that. So I'm going to do it. I said to Mimi, I'm like, I'm just going to run a piece of yarn through and pull it tight. She's like, quit being so freaking lazy. I'm like, yeah, okay. I did it on another pair. I can do it on this pair. So I did add, I think I talked about this last time, I did add some short rows here to make the the top come up a little bit. You can see where that happened um, to make the heel come up a little bit so it wouldn't, because ordinarily it's, this is the bottom and that would be a pretty low heel would slip down. So I did that and I also did the um, mods that I talked about where you don't, cast off here and then pick up stitches it's just you knit slip slip knit and knit two together on going down the whole thing so that's how you connect it and and that looked great hmm. that's gonna have to make a pair of those one of these times i've yeah. got the pattern i've just never yeah well they're quick cute. yeah and um i don't know what yarn this is this i pulled it out of my stash and i honestly chose it because it was already wound so <laughs> again with the laziness um, and the mods I used are Ms. Archer, um, M-S Archer, A-R-C-H-E-R, -E and she has them all written out on her Ravelry thing, so that's such a great mm. service. And that's it. That's what that's I'm working on. it. All you're working on. Well, I mean, that's all I brought. Let's, okay. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Um, okay, so what am I working on? So I do have two oh. hose. Um, I finished finally. In fact, I didn't even weave the end in yet. So this is the the Christmas sock from the. Oh, I I wound up the rest of the sock blank, so I can't show you. But it was a sock blank um, we've showed on our prior episodes. Um, Conjoined Creations, Flat Feet is the one that did the sock blank. And I don't know if if they're still doing them. But um, this is a Christmas one that I promised to one of the grandkids 14, 15 years ago, <laughs> something like that. Um, I think they forgot because they haven't asked me about it. So um, I'm ready to start the second one. That turned out cute. Had fun. And then I have another hoe. I tell you, it's just been the socks this week because I just haven't had mind space for anything else. And so this is Felici again, uh, and this is called Summer Camp in this that is one. cute. So, um, and you just, do the fish lips kiss heel? I do the fish lips kiss heel and uh, the toe up nine inch circular US one. 
So, yeah, so maybe by next time we podcast, I'll have two more completed. There I go, touching the face again. Two more completed um, socks. And then I did, uh, since I finished my Weekender sweater, I picked up my Moiki, Moiki sweater. And that is in the Lane, the Autumn Winter Issue 2019. And kind of, kind of get it. It's just kind of a, oh, let's see, just a, you can kind of see the detail down the side, split hem. Just a rounded crew neck, very simple. Um, just kind of a comfy, comfy go-to sweater. I love the detail down the side there. So I am doing that, and I am doing this on uh, Blue Sky Fibers, the wool stock, which is the same thing that Kathleen had with the, uh, hat. With yeah. the hat and the mittens. Oh, and gosh, this is done so in the pretty. deep purple colorway. So it's um, purple with just a little bit of like a navy through it. So I am to the fun point now where I am, sorry for that guys, for where I am increasing at a different rate on the front and the back than I am the sleeves. So um, here it is top down. And here's my sleeves. And I talked last time about this little cute row counter. And the reason I'm using that is I am increasing on the front and back every other row, but I'm increasing on the sleeves every third row. So I have two counters going. So this is my sleeve counter. So I just know when I get to row three, which is my next row, there's my little, you can see those little rings. Um, you just slip them over your needle. So on my next row, I'll increase for the sleeves. And then um, I can pretty much tell on the front and the back um, where my increases are. It's just to make one right, make one left. And it's got a really fun, this that detail down the side that I was showing, it's also on the raglans here, on the raglan sleeves. That's so cute. That's really cute. Yeah, I probably have... Um, not sure. I, I think I have about eight more increases, and uh, and then I'll split for it, for the you know take the sleeves off, and then it's just going to be round and round and round. So it's going to be easy. Um, now, did you swatch for this so you know if it's going to fit? No. Okay, people, <laughs> let's don't have, do let's as have a I roll do. Call. Who swatches and who doesn't, and I, why? I thought we were going to have an intervention there. No, for well, a I've tried. I've tried. It's not. It's not happening. Um, I am a swatcher, obviously, Nancy is not, but let us know if you swatch and why and what your feelings are about it. Yeah. Yeah. I will try it on, um, you know, I, I could check my gauge at this point. You I, could. I just you should. Have, I should. Mm -hmm. Maybe got, I will. You've got a swatch there. Yeah. Maybe I'll surprise everybody. And, um, <laughs> I, you know, I, I don't <coughs> I, I only do it if I'm substituting yarn weight. So um, let's see. And that That's is it, all huh? I'm actively working on. I have lots of whips. Somebody did make a comment wanting to let, we should comment how many whips we have. Um, I, I probably have 20. Yeah, you know, I don't, I went through a phase where I was trying to work my whips down. Yeah. And I, I probably only have 10. Oh, good for you. You know, a couple of them I think I'm going to rip out. Um, I guess that's true. It's like, are they actually works in progress or are yeah. they just waiting to be Something, frogged? Yeah, yeah, time out. And I think some I of mine are the latter. Yeah. So good. All right. So I have a new thing. We came home to Happy Mail. This, uh, I we ordered some kits from Lady Dye Yarns. And I've talked about her a couple times. This is the Together We Stand kit, and it is, um, this is the yarn, and it is, um, the colorway is Together We Stand, and it's Lady Di, um, and she teamed up with Romy Hill to do um, a 
kit that benefits um, Fair Fight Action, which is a voter, uh, a voting, um, voting rights organization. And I just feel like that is so important right now to be able to get to the polls, no matter how you vote. And so this is the hat. And you can also choose to do, or well, you can't, you don't choose. It's a hat cowl combo. So it, um, those drawstrings come close to make the hat. So you can wear it as a hat or a cowl. Oh, so you could do like a messy bun hat. Or... Right, right. Cute. So I thought that was pretty cute. And then the kit came with this excellent, but she has the best bags. Bad, uh, a... Badass craftivist. Oh my gosh. Isn't that great? Cute. And also, one of her um, one of her things that she does is send out a lot of these pocket U.S. constitutions, which I love. I love having that, and I love um, how she promotes this, and also her craft um, craftivism. So that's Lady Di Yarns. I'm not sure if there are any of these left, but. Um, I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be really fun. So is this a monthly thing? Um, she this... does some monthly kits. Yeah, mm -hmm. she has some kits, and she also has some just one-off things. Mm -hmm. Like, she's the one who's doing the um, Schitt's Creek, mm -hmm. and she did this, she's done a second one because the first one totally sold out. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. she does, she has a Foxy Brown kit, the um, actress, the movies, like the, I forgot what those are called. I it's got a name and I can't remember what it is. But anyway, um, so yeah, she's got some fun kits. And her Christmas thing is Downton Abbey. Oh, fun. So, mm -hmm. and I don't think it's an advent calendar. I think it's like a, um, um, just a big box of Downton Abbey hmm. themed stuff. Hmm. Fun. So oh. that's that. Yeah. How about you? Do you have any new I, stuff? I, um, I have some undyed yarn. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> got uh, a box two days ago. I got a couple of boxes yesterday. I have a box coming today. Still is um, hard to get, but, mm. you know, if you can get on the website and it's available, um, you grab it. So I do yeah. have undyed yarn, but I don't have anything. Oh, I really need a haircut. Um, I don't have any new. Okay. Um, yarn. What about favorites? Favorites. You know, um it's so hard to pick like one. It's like picking which kid is your favorite. Right now. And that all depends on the day of the yeah. week or the time of the day or right. something. But um, I do use Knit Companion. I use it a lot on my iPad. Um, I just recently upgraded to the pay version and I'm, I'm working my way through that. I think, uh, is it Very Pink Knits has quite a tutorial on it. And uh, I just oh, need. good to know. Yeah, I just need to find some time to sit down with her tutorial with the iPad and do it because I think that especially for um, the sweater where I'm oh. decreasing at different yeah. or increasing at different rates, mm -hmm. it would be very handy. I do know that um, I've been able to master how to do the voice commands, so oh, I can use nice. the row counter by voice. But, um, yeah, so I do like it. Um, now, I think on there, because I did, I, I got it on the previous folk Knitting. I watched, because they did, like, Nancy, and they had um, the, they were in the um, trade show part of it. And they had a, their, like, time that they were selling it, they did these awesome tutorials. And they had it this time, too. Yeah. But, but yeah. I think they have those on their site, oh, or at least mm -hmm. something like it. I mean, they were doing it live, but mm -hmm. I think they have something like it. And it's, it is a way more powerful program than I knew. Yeah, I, yeah. I was super impressed. Yeah, I think there's a lot you can do with that. Yeah. Um, and uh, my sister, a little side note, is has gotten into Needlepoint and doing some beautiful embroidery work. And so I was we were discussing that, thinking, I wonder if that's something... If you know, if she could download her graphs into the PDF part Probably. and and use that for um, you know other right because I think you can I know you can download yeah because our friend Casey was doing um, she is she is amazing yeah. she was knitting 
she moved to somewhere in Scandinavia and she wanted a sweater and they said, oh, we don't buy our sweaters. We knit our sweaters. So she just picked up Scandinavian Pharaoh, you know, knitting and knit just these beautiful sweaters. And so, but her patterns are like from the eighties or even before seventies. Mm-hmm. And, um, she was considering it, but didn't know if she could like make it a PDF and then put it in the thing. But you can do that. So mm-hmm. if you have old patterns that are only paper, you can put them in, you can scan them into your computer and then download them in there, which I think is a great value. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a great thing. Because you, ne- you never lose your place. Right. And you can jump from project to project and it highlights right where you're at. So, yeah, it's, uh, I, I do need to get a little more versed in it. Yeah. But um, I do love it. So, yeah, so great. that's my favorite. How about you? Okay, my favorite is truly, truly, truly a favorite. And I have kind of an embarrassment of riches here to share with you. I got into the Chiaogu needles because of the cable. So I have two interchangeable sets. This is the bamboo, which I love um, because my hands do get a little bit tired after knitting with metal all the time. And then this is the, um, the I think they call it the lace tip. And so these cables, you guys, I did this for a tutorial. So if you had one of your regular needles, one of your regular non chowgo needles like this, and you unwound it, it would be a nightmare, right? But this is a cord that has no memory, and I don't know what their magic is to do it, but... So that's been wound up for, I don't know, however long in my thing, in my, in my package. And it is, I mean, it's magic. It's the best. So when I um, worked for Interweave, I was lucky enough to get, they sent me, the Chow people, when they were kind of first coming out, they sent me this full set of um, really like sock needles. And so this... You can see the difference in this these cables. That's the sock one, and this is the um, regular one. And this is the large cable. This is, I think, this is a no. That's a, that's a large cable too. So um, they sent me all of these needles. I, I that was so lucky. So these are like from zero 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 to I think ones is this set. And it come it came with this little case and inside are markers and and the they have these little t pins that aren't really sharp that um you use to tighten the cables and but they they included this little heart it's like a rubber material and you use it to tighten up the the needles and you really need it on these teeny tiny ones um but i use this for all of them and so I'm so enamored with the chow goo that I got this recently from Knit Knit Coeur d'Alene because I, Nancy is so team nine inch. I thought, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to try it and I'll use my favorite materials just to make it easier. So this is the tiny, the um, short. So this has got the, this I think is like three inch and then these, look at those. Oh my gosh, that's, that's just, yeah. crazy. Yeah, so you can make nine or twelve uh-huh. inch rounds, and these the thing that the thing that I was a tiny bit worried about with this is that they're blue cables, and I thought, oh, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to get them if they're not the red cable, but they're the same. So if you're considering it, so these are the um, joins on these. Are so they the joins different? are. Is that why they're the blue cable? I don't know. I think it's just. It, you know, they come in this little package. Mm. You know, I think it just might be a design thing. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. this is kind of what's in that little case I showed you. The, the tip, the um, cable, hold the stitch holder things, a little connector, the all that kind of stuff. So you get that with every set. Now, do these have the connectors where you can join the cables yes. together? Oh, yeah, those little itty bitty it? things. And then you get this oh, adorable okay. yeah. little gauge. Mm. Gauger. Love it. So, mm. as you can see, I'm all in on the Chago. And I do love, like, don't get me wrong, I do love 
Um, I love wooden needles, and um, Chavu at this point just has the bamboo, which I also like, but I like the hardwood. I love Knitter's Pride. They're just, um, I don't know what their regular wooden needles are called, but I love yeah. those. I love Knit Picks, mm -hmm. and the great thing about Knit Picks and Likey, I have some Likey needles too. Likey, Knit Picks, and Knitter's Pride, and I don't know who else, but they all can use the same cables. Mm -hmm. This, um, These... The needle actually has the thread on it, and so you need to get the Chagu cables. Yeah, the other ones, um, the cable has the thread the on thread. it. Uh -huh. Yeah, so yeah, mm -hmm. so that's my favorite. You know, I've been uh, an Addy person, oh, Addy I needles since too. from whenever, but I, I have to admit, I do have one pair of fixed. Uh, chow goose and I do like the cable and I don't like magic loop but I'm looking at this cable thinking you know maybe that's the reason I don't like it is because I don't and I think I'm probably um, I well I know when I do my socks and I start toe up and I do magic loop I am using an Addy and you know their their cables um, are thicker and they get kinks in them they do, so, and I, I hate to say anything bad about Addies because yeah, I, I love I, I the love needle. them, and yes. I love the I like the actual needle part, like mm -hmm. the rock sock rockets or rockets. Mm -hmm. Love those. Mm -hmm. but, I don't have yeah, a knitting just, needle that I dislike. I have to say, I didn't like yeah. the new kind of needles. I don't like plastic needles. I don't. Yeah, I don't do plastic. I like square needles. I've got mm -hmm. a pair of uh, square needles that I really like too. Yeah. So. And I think those new Addies, one of our knitting friends tried some, and she absolutely loves them. The new yeah. square Addies yes. that have the ridges on them. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm thinking Addie is so um, innovative. Like Mimi, their Flexi Flips that are kind of a new style. Um, double point. Double point. Yeah, thank you. Mimi uses those for the for her gnoming, and she loves them. Mm -hmm. And I tried them, and I think I just need to work with them a little bit more. They were a little bit... I didn't really know how to hold them and so but you know they're good mm -hmm. i think there's room in the pool for everyone and i kind of just use whatever i'm in the mood for right and i'll switch yeah. halfway through a project too mm -hmm. which i know some people will never do that oh, but sometimes I, yeah. I need to get on the wood instead of the metal mm -hmm. yeah i don't know i those chow goose up that's a nice set I, uh, yeah because my Addies, well, I have the Addy interchangeables that are probably, gosh, I bought those from a Grand Yarn, 10. Yeah, yeah. 10 plus years ago. Mm -hmm. And and then I have the Knit Picks um, interchangeable ones. But yeah. Otherwise, yeah. But I just, I, I'm, I'm looking just... at the shorty set because I do. Yes, love it. I, I love it because I'm 9 inch circular. And then yeah. when I do sleeves, um, you know, 12 inch circulars instead of uh, magic loop for the sleeves. So, well, yeah. and I, I have to say that one time Nancy showed me a trick and I thought that is game changer because I hate it because you're thinking when you're working in a small circumference on a sleeve or whatever, you're, whatever you're working on gets all wound up. But Nancy winds hers up intentionally and then knits in the, the opposite, opposite direction, way. Yeah. So it, I mean, I was like, okay, that's brilliant. So you only, you know, it's as your sleeve gets longer, you can twist it more. And, right. And do that. And I, you know, I don't mind sleeves because I'm just doing the circular. You can just go round and round. Yeah. So um, I don't, I don't mind sleeve island. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, okay. What do you think? So I think we should talk Shop about news. our knit along. Oh, our knit along. Our yes. knit along, our uh, make along, crochet along. So um, we started a single skein knit along called Knit One and Done. We started it on August 9th, which I think was last Sunday. A oh, week you're ago. Good. I don't even know yeah. what day it is. <laughs> and it runs through September 30th. Um, it is a single skein project. We are doing a, a collab with five other podcasters. Uh, we have Cody Knits, Needles at the Ready, Vibra Hustle, Creative Obsession, and Sweet Tea No Shade. And those will be in our, our notes down below. Kath is my, my note person, so she does a great job. So I thank her for that. No um, problem. And 
um, everybody has a Ravelry page except for Fiber Hustle. And so they have the hashtag knit one and done 2020 that they're going to be pulling from from. But you can um, you can enter your same project in every one of us. It's not we're not, you know, we don't care. You can up your chances of winning so you can enter it into six different um, groups. And everyone has a every offering a different prize. Yes. And we are offering two prizes. Uh, we are offering oh, right back here. So our first prize, and we'll we'll draw from our uh, Ravelry group. The first the first prize is going to be a knit one and done coffee mug, and these are really a nice size. They don't I they're not it. that big, but they're, yeah, <laughs> they're you know, twenty ounces. Twenty ounces, yeah. Uh, but they're a good size mug, and then it's got the little yarn and the needles on the back. So for one prize. We'll fill this with some goodies and a skein of yarn. Of Nancy's yarn. Of Nancy, of Trilogy yarn, yes. Mm -hmm. And then um, if you use Trilogy yarn for your project, and then you enter it in our, um, our drawing, you will be um, entered in a drawing for a Christmas advent. So that's the, the prize. That's a grand That's a prize. grand prize, yes. So, so if you use yeah. any Trilogy yarn, whether it's something you have in your stash or if you want to purchase a skein. And it's only, it's just a one skein thing. It's a one so. skein thing. And, you know, um, 50 grams and more. You what know, are you doing for the knit along? Um, what am I doing for the knit along? I actually am playing with my new worsted weight yarns and so I'm probably going to do hats. Um, I want to do a, a hat out of my superwash worsted and my non-superwash worsted. So I think I'm going to do hats. Um, I have a little bit of time left. Um, so I'll probably get that cast on sometime this next week or so. What are you doing? I'm kind of thinking hats also. Yeah. I think um, I never do hats for myself. I mean, this is this one that I showed earlier is Mimi's because I look ridiculous yeah, I don't, in I don't hats. Wear hats that much. Yeah, I mean, I'll wear them in the winter because you know who cares. But um, I'd rather wear like a an ear or headband or thing. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But I love giving hats as gifts, and our friend Carmen, who we talk about, uh, designed a hat uh, that is. Um, Washington State University logo and I'm thinking I want to do that because mm -hmm. it's really cool and she does this cute thing where she puts tassels and a pom-pom on so she gilds the lily a little bit and it's so cute so I think that's what I'm gonna do and my sister is turning 50 and so I think I'm gonna do that do a hat for her nice. so yeah so yeah, any single skein, cowls, hats, mittens, a uh, baby sweater, if you do, you know, a, mm -hmm. a small enough baby sweater, socks, um, yeah, just, so knit one and done, it will run through September 30th, um, and I think, is there anything, and crochet is al allowed, and I guess just uh, you can enter in everybody's. So be sure and follow and, and watch those podcasts too. Those are great podcasts. Yeah. Um, so subscribe really to those. Yeah. And in the Ravelry group, on our Ravelry group, which is just, it's called On the Needles, uh, On the Needles podcast maybe, but On the Needles in the, in the group section in Ravelry. And that's under the community tab. Mm -hmm. And then you pull down, there's groups. Um, there is a thread about the knit along and people have been sharing their uh, project ideas. So that's really fun to mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. It is fun. Yeah. yeah. I think it's just, you know, a great way to jumpstart your gift knitting and you can enter as many projects as you get done. So, um, you know, the more you enter, the, the better your chances of winning something. And like Cass said, the other podcasters are, they're, doing their own prizes so yeah, yeah. So you could win all the prizes. you could win all the prizes okay so um i guess that just brings us to shop news and uh not too much because like i say i've been really busy with vogue and just um just appreciate all the the support 
Um, I do want to mention the Advents, uh, Hocus Pocus Halloween Advents. I did upload 10 more this morning, and that's going to be the absolute max because um, post office is going to love me when I come in with a gazillion Advent packages. But <clears throat> So there is 10 more. That is a 13... Uh, 13 minis and then a full 100 gram skein new colorways Halloween themed colorways um, I was thinking there was going to be some pattern support I don't think there is but there's a lot of um, scrappy projects that you can do with the Maybe minis we can think of some ideas and yeah. share them I mean uh, the land of sweets cowl that's October. one of my favorite yeah. one and I've done that and it's very long I'll, I'll, in fact I should bring that one of these times and show you but it's all done with minis so that would work um, and then there'll be you know every day you'll open up a, a little um, package of your 20 gram mini and there'll be you know little goodies I signed yeah, up for that. I'm excited. Did you sign up yeah. for that? Um, and then the Christmas Advent, I still have some um, openings for that one. And that will uh, be 24 20 gram minis. And then on the 25th day, you'll get a full skein. So um, I do, I, I actually have all of those colorways dyed up because I, I wanted to get those off to the designer. So I will have um, a shawl or a wrap and a throw that's going to be that you can make up with those minis and um, I probably will close that uh, I'm going to say about the end of October depending on how my other work schedule goes I do work for the um, school district and I know we're, we're doing virtual so I, I don't know for sure yet what that entails for me but I'll probably be closing the Christmas Advents November the Halloween ones will be closed the 1st of September. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your <laughs> eyes. Especially if you've had an eye infection. And then the last um, one I want to talk about is the Princess Bride Sock Club. And um, I had a, a customer bring that to my attention last night that there was no more, uh, no more available on the website. So I remedied that very quickly. So there is now spots. Um, September shipment colorway sitting right over there you can't oh, see it awesome. but it's it's a real fun one mm -hmm. um, it is called inconceivable so that is the name of this colorway and for this for um, every month I feature a sock designer so this month I am featuring uh, Kay Litton who is the crazy sock lady and we're doing the socks for Dumbledore is her pattern mm -hmm. So um, I think is that a, I don't do Harry Potter. I probably just got a bunch of unlikes from that statement. Um, I, I have nothing against Harry Potter. I've just never um, read it. So you have so, something to look forward to. Yeah. So, but I think that's a Harry Potter yes. reference. Dumbledore. Dumbledore is some good. Yes. Yeah. See, so, you really um, don't do Harry Potter. Okay. Yeah. I, don't. I still like you. <laughs> um, someday I will. But anyway, so that's going to be shipping out probably. Uh, the first of next week so there's still time to sign up if you sign up after next week then you'll be in the following months and like I said it's a it's a three month subscription but at the end of that three months you can re-sign up again for it I don't automatically sign you up you would have to sign yourself up that's nice of you I know <laughs> Um, I just want to give a little plug to the Crazy Sock Lady. I didn't know that. That's super exciting. Um, our friend Kim is doing the Crazy Sock Lady's um, oh, like sock, sock camp, camp sock this camp, summer. And yeah. she has learned so much. She mm -hmm. can't recommend it any more highly. And yeah. um, I am her... Oh, I forgot those. Darn it. Okay, next week I will bring them. We have a cranker in our world and she has been um you know the old-fashioned sock machine so she you used to have one of those she has been cranking out these tubes and i am going to be the recipient of one of these tubes and so kim said there's a it's kim's mom who's the cranker and she said there's some great um instruction from crazy sock lady on oh afterthought heels. yes I afterthought have... heels because i've never done one of those mm -hmm. before so i'm going to bring those next time you guys and mm -hmm. it's oh 
as we're slogging along on our socks. She's like, sock. So, you know, I, I, uh, I had one. I had a sock machine, and I didn't play with it very much. I think I just couldn't quite um, figure it out. Uh, so well, I don't and I know it's, it's just, an old yeah. machine. These are like antique yeah, mine was, refurbished. Yeah, mine yeah. was a was one of those Gerhards. And, yes, yeah, right. off of eBay, and it was it was very expensive. Um, well, they have their group, and I yeah. so, and I think they have instructors, and they learn from each other, and so mm-hmm. I, I almost think that would be the only way to do it with something like that. Yes, I think so, because it, it, there is a big learning curve yeah. with that. But um, I guess I just um, I don't I don't mind doing afterthought heels. I I just think they would get put on the back burner. Yeah. Because if I'm knitting a sock, I just do my heel there. Right. And that way it's done. But yeah. I know. There's... Well, and there's such a joy in hand knitting. You know, yeah. it, it just can't be replaced. But there's also a joy in instant gratification. There so. is. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, like yeah. we said, there's room for it all yes, in our there knitting is. world. So. All right. So we are just under the wire here for an hour. I know. I didn't think we were going to have much to talk about, but you get a couple knitters together. Oh, yeah. and you never, know, we like to, never at a to loss. ramble. And, yeah. So um, anyway, thank you for joining us. We're thrilled to have every one of you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And all the notes will be in the description below and also on our Ravelry page. And um, in this time of unrest and um, stress, I think. I'm seeing a lot of stress out there. Mm -hmm. We encourage you to take solace in your knitting and your making and your sewing and crochet and whatever it is that makes you happy and support your local yarn shop. And And take some time for self-care too. Whether it's, um, you know, just... Find a 15 minutes in your day to go out for a walk or pick up a book or just, um, you know, sit and do a little meditation. But, you know, we're all in this together. Yep. Um, And there's people that are a whole lot worse off than we are. Um, So, yeah, just stay safe. Wash your hands. Wear your mask. Vote when it comes time to vote. Um, Every vote is going to be important this year. And we, so. we've we made our um, preferences known in our podcast, but I also want to just say I, it doesn't matter who you vote for. You, it, That is our power mm-hmm. as American citizens, and we just encourage you to get out and vote. And vote, yes. Yep. So, and vote early. Right. I'd like to we're, say we're vote a early and vote state often. in yes. Washington, but we, um, yeah. so we... Yeah, anyway. Um, So anyway, Knit On, Knitters, thank you for joining us. And we'll see you. you next time. Bye. Bye. Stay safe.